Hello, everybody. Um, I am Bobby, the Geek Guru, and I am joined by Tony, my lovely wife. Hello. And we are going to be recording an episode for married couples play married couples playing games. Uh, it's a f- channel that a friend of ours, uh, Toby and Karina, they have. So uh, we have Amiibo Festival, so we kind of wanted to show it off a little bit and play around, and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So we're going to play in December, because um, we've typically only played in November mm-hmm. so far. Um, I am going to be Tom Nook. Tony will be Digby. And... And there's Tony's Digby. Okay. So, pretty much... The concept is, it's like a board game. So, I kind of have said in the past that it reminds me of the game of life. Um, You know, and the more you play, you unlock different things and you do different things with the game. Um, So, we're going to make progress and see what we do. Now, the first thing is there's snow on the ground. So, that's different than before. Everything was kind of brown before. Octavian. Now the uh, the villagers you're gonna see around the town are amiibo cards that I scanned in and put those villagers into the town because I thought it'd be kind of cool to have them in there. The, the one like Eunice, you like Eunice, yeah, and and I put Bill in there and Octavian. So um, you know, let's let's see. I'll be your guide. Well, I might as well read some of this. But um, Rosie's saying, I'll be your guide for this board game. So just follow my lead, silly. Oh, does everyone know the rules? And, yeah, we do. We do. Yeah. Um, she's going to try to stay out of our way. I should tell you, if you play with two players, a game will last about 45 minutes. We're going to play a full game. And we're going to record it all. But I'm going to break it down. Um, I don't believe Toby's all going to put it in one showing, so... Um, now we're not going to set a time limit for it. Which I think that if you were to set the time limit, it might make it a little... Your your strategy a little different when you play the game. Probably. But... The way we play it is, with no time limit, it's going to go through every day of the year, and um, or every day of the month, and you're going to play. Digby's turn. So what Tony's doing, because you can't see this part of it, she's actually putting Digby on the NFC chip in the gamepad and lifting it off, and then it rolls the dice. Go to be <laughs> yeah, good. the other two ways are sad. All right, I'm gonna carry you. He party with stitches and Bill. Lovely. Cool. <laughs> okay, I'm up with Tomas Nook. I didn't even touch it. But okay, Tomas Nook. I gotta go for the money because Tom Luck loves money. He does. My old apprentices asked me to present them a seminar. Uh, they learn together and everything is richer. Everyone is richer for it. That's uh, lovely. Just give me the money. <laughs> That's all he did it for. Aw, I 
enjoy seeing my friends get the specialty items they look like to get and stuff. Yeah, right. <laughs> what do I get for that? You gotta push the A button. I just get happiness. I don't get any yeah. money. The idea is happiness is well, is what you need. You need more happiness points to win the game. Uh, money's also good because money transfers into happiness points. Um, for those, obviously, you can't see me and Tony right now. But we're transferring the gamepad back and forth between each other. So now all my money I made, I apparently I'm going to lose it because... Uh, <laughs> You had to buy another bet and you lost your train ticket. I lost 200 bells. That's not bad. Milk. That's not bad. Tom Nook needs to get it together. All this money he has can't even get something to keep his tickets together. Yeah, pretty much. Four for DP. Where's DP going? Oh, we landed on money spot. I shook trees all over town to earn some extra bells. I'm really tired, but my pockets are full. <laughs> <laughs> I got $400. How lovely. <laughs> okay. Come on, Tommy. There's Octavian is over there fishing. I like Octavian in my town. Oh, my lord. I'm losing money every time now. Aww. A bunch of us picked some fruit, but it, it all had worms. We paid to recycle it, but it doesn't change the fact that I'm hungry. Yeah, it's lovely. I'm going to lose everything I made, pretty much. Basically. It's the way it looks. We are on Friday the 4th. And Katie is coming to town. Now, you'll get these special visitors that, um, pretty much, when you land on them, you'll have something to do, more or less. She likes to play games, um, and she'll try to play games with cards with you if you land on her space. And the cards you can be used to further yourself later on in the game. I just see there the space has changed on the floor or on the board. Katie face. Okay, if I go that way I get happiness and money. If I go this way I get Katie, but I don't have any cards. But that's how you can get a card. It's up to you. Hmm. Today. You want the happiness and money? Wait, which way am I going? No, you know what? I want to go down because I want to go down and get a stamp. So. She doesn't have any cards, or he doesn't have any cards, and um, so now she's going to play a game with him in order to establish whether or not Tony can have a card. So the object is, is she's going to draw another card. Is that card going to be higher or lower than the four? I'm going to go higher. Ooh. Oh. Too bad. Okay, Tom. Stop losing money here. Oh, my lord. <laughs> uh, good times, good times. See, you know, he was trying to hit rocks to get money. He's being greedy. And it cost him his, his axe. So now he has to buy a new one. That's what he gets. Son of a gun. All about the money. Doesn't think. Now we're on Saturday the 5th. Take these, turn. Oh, nice six. You get your first stamp now. Yeah. That's why I went down this way. I figured, well, I can get a stamp if I go this way. Oh, well, stamps are different, too. Oh. So you get to collect all oh, of... Oh, it's lost money. I'm losing money. I fished a lot of garbage out of the ocean. It was costly to get rid of it all, but now the ocean is cleaner. Nobody cares. Oh, look, you get a bright spot. That's not a bright I spot. the ocean. It cost you money. I the ocean. Either way, it's bad, so... Ridiculous. I released a balloon with a gift of some bells attached. I hope it reaches someone. It should have reached your pocket, Nook. 
Why are you giving money away? I'm going in debt here. <laughs> So the first week is done, and now the stock market starts up. Basically, Joan is going to come to town, and she's going to offer to sell you some turnips. And then we start to play the stock market for the rest of the week. So I've basically said this before to like anybody that's a fan of this series would really enjoy this game because um, it plays on a lot of stuff that you know from playing Animal Crossing. So it's going to ask you first to buy turnips. How many do you want to buy? Another bunch, cause she gave us a bunch. She gave us, yeah, a bunch of, yeah. She gave us ten. So. And then um, <clears throat> myself. Which she normally doesn't do. I can only buy ten. So. No, she she does the first week. She does. Yeah, first, first week she'll give you ten, yeah, and then after that. And after that, you're on. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what right. I mean. So. So now, stock market's in play, and as you'll see, well, starting tomorrow, it goes into play. So, there's Octavian again. I appreciate Octavian watching the game. <laughs> and you're losing money. Yeah. That's always good. I need to stay away from the ocean. Apparently. <laughs> Cut it out, Bigby. Show houses. Yeah. How about I start making some money over here? Because this is ridiculous, the Tom look. There's a... Got my first stamp, I'll take it. It gave me... Finally! Hook it up, brother! At Nookling's junk Junction, I was the 10th customer of the day, so I won 10, bell 10 bells. Really? I don't know. You're That's related. it? You're related to this company. That's ridiculous. Ten bells? You're related to this company. I don't care. You shouldn't be able to win. I should... Well, I should win more than ten bells. So now you got the uh, turnip prices. Yes, now the turnip prices are set. And as you can see below the spaces, you'll see the turnip with a number next to it, with an arrow up, and then some of them have a flat line, and then some are down. It looks like everything's pretty uh, good, though. Now the question will come into play whether or not Tony wants to sell her turnips. Um, she bought them for 83 bells each. They're selling for 140 bells each, which is a little bit of a profit, but... But it's so early. Do whatever you want to do. So I'm gonna go now. Now I'm up. Hundred and one, I'm not touching that one. Um, earn some interest. Nice. I'm starting to come back now with a little bit of money. And I am not gonna sell my turnips just yet. December eighth. Here's Katie again. Katie's back. Nobody wants you, Katie. Take a hint. No one ever wanted you, Katie. No. When she was a little crybaby kid, I was like Someone take her and don't bring her back. <laughs> Poor Katie. Go on, take me! Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that would have been better to sell it at 140 than 103. But you don't have to sell it at 103. Again fishing on the shore. Quit with the fishing, dog. Unfortunately, he, he's, you know... Tom, look, we're up, buddy. One, cheese. A 
sent a letter to my future self and included a little bit of spending money. I sure hope I appreciate. I appreciate me. Well, hopefully I get that money. Five hundred bells? I don't like myself that much. Look, I'm down to seven seventy. Oh, this is horrible. I'm not doing something. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sell yet. I'm gonna hold tight. Oh, uh, and here goes. The here we go. The value of the turnips have gone down, and this is this has to be greedy. I should have sold, but whatever. We'll see. Darn it! I have one forty something. They don't. Some they of don't them are still. Yeah, some of them still stay yeah. high. Like you're still higher than you were, or than you paid. Again. One thirty-eight. But hey, one thirty-eight, and it's a happy little. Well, that time fishing. Sold a dab for three hundred bells. Fishing was good that time. Ah, oh, one thirty-eight. It's not that difficult. Let's go. What's the deal? What's the deal? You know what? I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm gonna hit something higher. I know it. Come on, Nook. One sixteen. The little side business action there. I'm going to... I'm going to sell. Now we're on the 10th of December. Oh, we have oh look. Aurora. Of course, of course I sold. <laughs> I gambled that one. That paid off. Hopefully. Stupid. And we have a pretty Aurora. I don't care about the... Aurora. All I know is I'm losing now. Good lord, why did I sell? You got scared. Oh, no, wait for them. Nice. I do like I, I like the fact that the The rainbow's up there, like the AOR is up there. It's kinda cool. Bill and, Bill and Eunice is up there talking. How you see it. Like, just like a regular town. Yeah. Just doing their thing. Look at this. 164. Oh. Stupid. And I'm losing money on top of it. They had, a don they had a donation box, and I was happy to contribute. I'm not happy. I don't think Nook would be happy to donate. No. Anything. Not at all. Twice. Dice. Damn. Which means now you're going to roll two dice. Yeah. As opposed to one. Which is cool. It's like they, they do it on the double days. So like the 11th and the 22nd, they'll do twice dice day. Wow. 11. Oh, it's gonna be the little... Uh, yeah, the jingle. Reindeer guy. Jingle. Yeah, that guy. Oh lord, look at that one. I don't have much time left. I think you got one more day left. Five. Dude, seriously with this? Like, come on, man. A famous designer was here. She's a jerk. So I asked her to take a look at some of my ideas, but she turned them down. Are they that bad? Obviously, you're wearing an apron, dude. Put some clothes on, bro. <laughs> Fishing tournament today. Now, at this point, what happens is, is we kind of do the fishing tournament. There's fish will plop down on the ground, or depending on where you land, and then you're going to get different weights and heights and or weights and lengths and all that in order to see who gets the biggest fish. But obviously, like, you have the green, you have silver, there's gold. The, what you land on is going to be the better fish that you're going to get, and so on and so forth. Um, but also, for Tony, today is the last day that she can sell her turnips. 
it's Saturday, and then if you don't sell them on Saturday, you can't do anything. So she called a koi. 25.20 inches. Obviously, I have to. It's good. I made money off of it. And it's Mr. Nook's turn. Come on. You're horrible, Nook. But you got a stamp again. I don't care about the stamp. Look it. You're going to beat me in the tournament. Thirteen point seven eight inches. Tony's gonna beat me, but there is still another person that's in town, and they do a tournament, which is kind of cool. So they show, you know, everything. Third place, Stitches with the pale chub, five point nine one inches. Good job, Stitches. And then me, I came in second with the thirteen point seven eight base. And then we got Digby in first. Busted out the Koi at 25.20 <laughs> inches. And congratulations on the win. Lastly, with a bitterling, Bill. Good lord. I like this. I, I like the fact that they do this. Again, it's it's a play off of Animal Crossing. If you're a fran fan of the series, they did this in New Leaf. So um, I think at this point we're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna stop right now. We're gonna put a you know bookmark in it, and we're gonna come back tomorrow or the next day or whenever Toby decides to put the video up. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Remember to uh, like, subscribe, share this with all your friends. Marry couples playing games. I am Bobby the Geek Guru. And I am Tony the Working Housewife. And you can follow us. I am on Instagram and Twitter at the Geek Gurus. Tony is. And I'm on Instagram and Twitter at TWH Tony. And on Facebook slash TWH Tony. So thank you guys again and we will see you next time. Bye bye.